All right, we're working on the helmet, and we're gonna we're shaping up the helmet a little bit. But what I want to do here first is I want to cut this out right here. Okay, right here. I'm gonna follow this out and around just like so. There you go. And same thing over here. These are called stop cuts. As you're telling, uh, you're marking where you want that, want that, um, cut to stop. Okay, you don't want to go further than that. I'm gonna leave that out for the nose. And you can paint this any way you want, any team colors you want. I'm gonna do our kind of Philadelphia Eagle color here. We're gonna make him green and and uh, white. I'm not a football fan, folks, so if I got the colors wrong, uh, please. <laughs> but I think I have that right. Uh, it's red and white. And, uh, you know, you could make this into a bottle stopper if you want. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to start trimming this back again a little bit because it's definitely got to be a little more rounded. It's not too blocky for my liking. And, you know, most people are afraid to, especially if you're new to carving, it's it's kind of, um, um, kind of scary to start hacking away at a piece of wood. You always think you're going to take off too much wood. And true, you can't put it back on, but, you know, it will look a little blocky to you when you first start carving. A lot of people, when they first start, they don't have the right perception. Uh, you know, it looks fine to them, but later on, when you go back to your pieces, you'll say, man, that's really blocky. What in the world was I thinking? But that's a learning, you know, that's a learning curve that you have. And, and uh, you know, it's all learning uh, how to carve and, and what how much can come off. and looking at your piece. Now I'm looking at this and I'm turning it and I'm looking at it again and again and I want to make sure that I I do the right you know I, I proportion it correctly so don't be afraid to stop and just take a look at it you know try to work on different parts of your piece instead of just one concentrating on one area when you're roughing it out like this because it helps you to flip it around and look at it to make sure you have things even. So I'm, I'm trying to get up here and take all that rust stuff off. I don't want the hat that flat or the helmet that flat, so I keep calling it a hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> the helmet. All right. And uh, we're going to just keep hacking this off here. And a lot of times, you try to get your profile done first, you know. And then you look at it and, okay, now you've got your profile done. You go to your front portion, your front view, and you look at it and say, okay, is it rounded enough this way? So there's a couple ways of looking at it. You know, you're going to look at it this way, and you're going to look at it this way, okay? And when you look, usually if you get the profile right, the rest kind of falls into place. That's really, I always found, found getting the profile correctly helps a great deal in finishing your carving or making sure you're doing the right things with it, okay? So... Uh, don't hesitate to stop and look at it and assess it all the time. I'm going to go a little deeper here and I'm going to start having the helmet stick out kind of with a little bit of a, you know, that's not tied up against the neck like that. I'm going to have it separate like this, okay, all the way around. Like it's like the the neckline is going underneath the cap or underneath the helmet there. So, like I said, I haven't done one of these before, so bear with me. It may not be exactly what I think it should look like. And like I say to people, I really have a general idea. I don't really have a picture in my head of how it's going to look. I kind of create it as I go, and um, and that makes it kind of fun because. I really don't know what it's going to turn out to look like. You know, it, I'm hoping it will look nice, and I'm hoping that 
uh, things will pan out a little bit. But like I said, I don't know exactly what it will look like. Okay. Now I see the helmet is pretty well shaped up for now. Uh, definitely need to do a little more work here and there. But let's go to the face here and get the face done. Now we're not going to put the face guard on. You can. It would be a little more, you know, let's see, let's see what we come up with. They usually have this thing that comes off from the helmet. Um, Alright, so we're going to put that bottom piece, like that strap on that they put at the bottom. We'll put that on the bottom and then we'll just do his face in the center there. Alright, this will be around his chin. You know, they have that little chin thing on there that keeps it in place. Like I said, I'm not a football person, so I had to really look at it to see what, what's what. We're going to put, uh, let's put the eyes here, okay. And there. And we're going to put a crown there a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of the bridge of the nose in. So let's do this. We're going to come down a little ways. And we're going to just do a V cut. Go right across. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come down. From there, we're going to come down, kind of down a little bit, slope it down. And we're going to find where the bottom of the nose is going to be. Just I usually just pick a spot here, usually. And um, so let's do that. We're going to come here and do the nose, the bottom part of the nose. You notice I'm not going really far deep down. I do it as as close up. You can round and slope it off a little bit later, but try not to take it down too far when you first do it, because you you got to take into account his 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 uh, his mouth has to go in there and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to figure out where the nose goes here. So I like nice little pudgy noses. Uh, that's just the way I like doing them, and uh, it's very hard to get this evened at the same time, so uh, bear with me here. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to slope this downward, all right? Slope this downward, and I'm going to just cut that out a little bit right there. Give me a, an idea where to go here. Cut that out first. Alright, we'll give it some eyebrows and things like that. Yeah, like a, well, hopefully like a little rugged football player, a husky little guy. And um, 